Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, I want us to tabulate differences between Lamarckism and Darwinism. So that's basically using information from Lamarck's theory and Darwin's theory. Um, and this is from the topic evolution. That is a very big topic and I've posted videos answering questions from previous question papers for the topic evolution. So please do check them out if you haven't. So let us go through this question. Um, there's rules that you need to follow guys when you are drawing a table. Um, you need to make sure that you draw all your table lines. That's internal and external lines. You also need to make sure that your table has a caption or a heading. You actually get a mark for that. All right. So let's start with the caption. So this is easy. So they've said that we need to tabulate four differences um, between Lamarckism and Darwinism. Let's see. Happy, happy with my color. So first things first is a caption. What are we drawing here? We're drawing a table. That's what we start with. This is a table showing what is it showing four differences between Lamarckism and Darwinism you can easily copy and paste that table showing four differences differ, differences between Lamarckism copy and paste right Lamarckism and Darwinism. All right, then you underline that. Okay, then you draw a table. Um, you make sure that your table has enough space for all your points. And in the row, guys, in the same row, you are comparing the same characteristics. So we draw our table. These are our external lines. Okay. We are going to have two rows. So in the first, not two rows, two columns. In the first column, this will be information about Lamarckism. So I need to indicate that that is my column heading to say on this particular column, I'm going to be writing information about Lamarckism. Then in the second column, that will be my information about Darwinism. Okay, so column um heading clear this point guys we're going to look at variation of offspring so that means the points that we are writing in the first row for both lamarck and darwin should be about variation of the offspring okay so the first point in Lamarckism, basically, variation of the offspring occurs when individuals in the population change. Whereas with Darwin, the variation of the offspring is actually inherited. Okay? So that's what we are writing. Variation of the offspring occurs when individuals when individuals in the population change. Whereas with Darwin, variation in the offspring is inherited done with that point that's your internal line right so obviously even if you're using the book lines please draw a line um when we when you're done with that point then the second one we are going to talk about change so with lamarck he says that change with his theory rather change occurs because of adaptations to the environment or that's when he uses the law of use um, and disuse whereas with darwin there is natural selection so individuals best suited to the environment they survive okay so change occurs because of adaptation to the environment environment 
or for this particular point you can talk about his law of use and disuse whereas with darwin there is basically natural selection and he says that or natural selection basically says that individuals best suited um, to the environment, environment survive Ooh, my pen survive done with the second point the third one Remember, you use a ruler, guys, when you're drawing your table and make sure that it's neatly drawn. Um, let's talk about the population now and the individuals within that population. So for Lamarck, individuals in the population change. So the individuals in the population in the population change. Whereas with Lamarck, the population as a whole changes. The population as a whole changes. I hope you can see the difference. With Lamarck, it's just the individuals in the population change. With Darwin, the population as a whole changes. Last point. Acquired characteristics are inherited by offsprings. Acquired characteristics are inherited by offspring, whereas with Darwin, characteristics are passed on from generation to generation to enable individuals to survive in the environment. Characteristics are passed on from generation to generation to enable individuals to survive in the environment.